college, and we're celebrating York Fest today. It's the second annual York Fest. It initially started last year as the 40th anniversary celebration for York College, and um, now we've made it our new tradition. I'm here at York Fest with college president, Dr. Marcia Keys, who initially had this celebration as a 40th anniversary and decided to turn it into a new tradition. Why? Because it was so much fun last year and we used this plaza area so effectively that I thought this should not just be a one-time thing once every 40 years. We should make this an annual affair. And we have so many members of the community, as you can tell, because you see some very little ones under age 18 and they are just having fun. And why is it so important for the community to be a part of your college? Well, as you know, probably from the history, the community really helped to locate your college right here in Southeast Queens. And we want to maintain those strong community ties. got here, the food was nice, Eddie Gale was on, great trumpet play, so it was a good time. It was, you know, folks are very, being very, uh, uh, very communal, it was very nice, it was very, very nice. And did you have a good time? Have you tried anything to eat yet? I've tried the food, it was pretty good, and I just got off the uh, bouncy castle. So what has been your favorite part here at York Fest? The music, the bands here are fantastic. Do you have a favorite jazz band? Uh, I don't. I like all types of jazz. I love just to be here today and I look forward to hearing what we have to offer here today. So I'm here by the barbecue and I love food. So we're going to go ahead and sneak off and find out what they're cooking before everybody else gets in there and there's nothing left for me. Hey. Hello. How are you? And what are we cooking today? We got hamburgers, we got hot dogs, we got cheeseburgers, we got sausages. And the group of culinary is doing a great job over here. Why do you think that your college, you know, is so important to the community that we can do something like that? People from the neighborhood live here and work here, go to school here, some of them. I've always thought of universities and colleges as is a, it's a public space, it's a public institution, and we have a tradition of jazz musicians living in Southeast Queens, so it really makes sense to have a festival to celebrate the music and your college. Why did you decide to participate in York Fest? Honestly, with the college being in our neighborhood, we trying to give back to the community any way we possibly can. We've been performing here for so long, so it's like it's good to come back home and do events like this. Well, it's important to be here because most of all we work, well, I worked with the kids from the jazz program that your college has during the summer, and I did a, a workshop with them, and I also worked, them, worked with them about a year and a half ago with the actual students from the college. And it's important that the kids that we're working with see that the people that come in to work with them hands-on are actually working and playing, and they can see us performing on stage and doing what we do. The community is very important to all of us musicians. Our goal is to reach the community and give them the message that we have through music. And that message we have is inner peace. So you can't do nothing in the world without inner peace. And that's our message through our music. Uh, York Fest is important because it strengthens um, the college ties with the uh, South Jamaica community and all the majors are represented here. This is a good opportunity to advertise your college and possibly boost admissions. So that's it. We got to meet the heart of your college, great jazz and R&B artists like Eddie Gale and Ray Vega. We got to meet community leaders and we even went down the bouncy slide. So hop on the E or the J train and come down to Parsons Boulevard in Jamaica, Queens. Bring your sons, your daughters, your uncles, your aunts because we have great food, great music, great rides and we even have face painting. I hope that you had a great time and remember, next year's York Fest is still free, so I'll see you then.